The Medicare Advantage annual enrollment period begins October 15th. Now, if you're already enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, it's likely that you've received your annual notice of change. And even though you receive so much paperwork from your Medicare Advantage plan, please make sure I don't throw this one in the trash. It is more important possibly than any other piece of paperwork that you read your annual notice of change. Now, if you've had group health insurance through your employer in the past, this is probably a pretty big adjustment. When you have group health insurance, it's unlikely that there are huge changes from one year to the next. If there are huge changes, you'll probably hear about it from your HR department. And if that's the case, there's probably still little recourse you can take. But when you enroll in Medicare, you are finally the master of your own destiny when it comes to your health insurance. However, that means that ultimately the buck stops with you. So while you may not be used to reviewing your plan in depth year over year, with Medicare, it really is crucial that you do so, especially with Medicare Advantage plans because they can change drastically from one year to the next. First, there can be drastically changing benefits from one year to the next. Now, sometimes it's a positive change. Sometimes new benefits have been added. And if that's the case, then you definitely want to review this letter to see what benefits might be of interest of you that you could take advantage of. On the flip side, some of those benefits could be changed or eliminated entirely. Perhaps you can still take advantage of the benefits, but on a less frequent schedule. Or as I said, they could be stricken from your plan entirely. And the cost for those benefits can also change. These are all things that you need to know so that if you do choose to keep your plan, you're not met with an unwelcome surprise. Additionally, sometimes maybe it's not so much your plan that's changed its benefits, but perhaps your need for their benefits has changed, especially if your health concerns have drastically changed. And if that's the case, then you need to make sure that your benefit still aligns with your needs. Now, in general, this really is something that you should be doing during the AEP. Many Medicare Advantage plans offer prescription drug coverage, and if this is the case for your plan, then you need to pay special attention to any changes there as well. For example, are there new medications that are offered? Maybe these are medications that you don't currently take, but they might actually be medications that you have been taking, and perhaps now your plan is offering to cover them. If that's the case, we often hear people that you know are enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan that covers most of their prescriptions, but maybe they go through something like GoodRx for one of their prescriptions. So if that's you, you definitely want to compare those costs with the new costs for your prescription on your Medicare Advantage plan. You also need to make sure that the drugs that you currently take are still covered on your plan's formulary. And also sometimes, although there isn't a change in coverage, there could be a change in the tier of the medication. Usually those higher tier medications are going to be more expensive than the lower tier medications. So if your prescription has for some reason changed tier, you need to be aware of that as well. And then there are pharmacies to take into consideration. Perhaps the pharmacy that you've been using to fill your prescription is no longer considered in network. Or maybe they have expanded their network and now there's a pharmacy that's more convenient that you might want to fill your prescriptions at. And then there are cost changes. And this is usually what catches people's eyes first. So you may notice that your premium has gone up and this is probably going to be the case because even if your plan doesn't have an additional monthly premium because many Medicare Advantage plans offer their plans at no additional monthly premium. You just need to continue to pay for part B. However, part B is going to go up on a yearly basis. So you can expect that at the very least, you're going to see an increase there. Then there are deductibles, co-pays and co-insurance and out-of-pocket maximums. These may increase or possibly not. There are many Medicare Advantage plans that have a $0 deductible. If that's your plan, it's not set in stone that it's going to necessarily increase because as I said, there are plans that just have $0 deductibles and that's sort of one of their selling points. Then there are co-pays and co-insurance. Uh, these can vary slightly. So because Medicare Advantage plans are beholden to the same rules as original Medicare, they must offer at least the same benefits, meaning they can't really charge you more for those co-pays and co-insurance. Usually you're going to actually see smaller co-pays and co-insurance. And a lot of the co-pays and co-insurance for Medicare don't really change on a yearly basis, like that 20% co-insurance for Part B. So you may not see a significant change there. However, you do wanna pay special attention to copays, especially when we're talking about prescription drugs, which I've already mentioned. 
And then there are out-of-pocket maximums. This is probably where you will notice a difference as well. Out-of-pocket maximums are not required by original Medicare. However, Medicare Advantage plans do impose an out-of-pocket maximum. Remember, this is the financial threshold that your plan is keeping track of. So as you are spending, if you reach this financial threshold, then your plan would take on the remainder of the bills for those covered in-network services for the remainder of the calendar year. If you have a PPO, you'll probably notice that there is an out-of-pocket maximum for in-network services versus out-of-network services or total services. If you have an HMO, you are only covered in-network, except in the case of a true medical emergency. Medicare Advantage plans are offered by private carriers, which will offer HMOs, and there's usually plenty of PPOs to choose from as well. And even if you are someone who's looking at plans with no additional monthly premium, that is to say you're just going to continue to pay your Part B monthly premium, there are usually plenty of PPO plans available. So there are some market differences, and there are definitely some reasons why PPOs would be much more favorable. With a PPO, you have in and out of network coverage, offering you more flexibility. With a PPO, you don't have to have a PCP, which is a primary care physician, and therefore no referral to see a specialist. Um, there can be higher monthly premiums or perhaps not because as I mentioned, there are many Medicare Advantage plans with no additional monthly premium. However, regardless of whether you go with an HMO or a PPO, remember that all Medicare Advantage plans are managed care plans. A brief pause here to remind you to please like and subscribe. We do release these videos on a weekly basis and especially with the AEP upon us, it's more important than ever that you stay up to date. Of course, if you have questions, you can reach us in the comments below or at the number on the screen. We are licensed nationwide and there's absolutely no charge for our services. All right, let's get back to it. And then one of the biggest and most important changes to probably be aware of are the networks. So this is actually exceptionally tricky because yes, you can be made aware of these changes during the AEP or when you receive that annual notice of change, but also remember that providers and hospitals can choose to drop, to drop your plan at any point. But it's still important to at least review when you receive your notice of change. So make sure that the doctor that you're currently seeing is still in network. Now again, if you have a PPO plan, you can choose to go out of network, but it's going to be more expensive. Make sure that there are no large hospital chains that you planned on using or that you just need to have in your back pocket basically for an emergency. Make sure that those hospitals haven't dropped your plan. On the flip side, if your plan has expanded their networks, that's of course something that you need to be aware of as well. There may be providers or specialists who you thought were out of network who are now considered in network, and that same thing applies to hospitals as well. Now this year, perhaps more importantly than ever before, it's very, very important that you pay particularly close attention to the networks of your plan. We recently released a video regarding the many hospitals that are dropping Medicare Advantage plans, and they do seem to be dropping them at a more advanced rate than ever before. That's because of the issues with pre-authorization. Remember that Medicare Advantage plans are managed care plans. That means that even if your doctor recommends a specific service or treatment, your plan must first approve it as well. Unfortunately, this can sometimes lead to delays in medical treatment or even denials. And very often hospitals find this difficult to deal with, so many of them have been dropping Medicare Advantage plans. And then of course, many doctors and hospitals have been dropping Medicare Advantage plans due to payment issues. So please pay particularly close attention to the networks when you are choosing your Medicare Advantage plan and of course, when you're reviewing your annual notice of change. Now, yes, of course, it's very important that you read this paper, this letter thoroughly, but always make sure you review not only your plan, but all of the new plans available to you in general during the AEP. Every year, benefits change on the plans that are offered, not just your plan, but other plans as well, and new plans are introduced. So while the plan that you're currently enrolled in may have been wonderful for you, last year, there may actually be a better plan available for you next year. And of course, with Medicare Advantage plans, there is no medical underwriting. So there is no impediment, there's nothing standing in your way from easily switching from one plan to the next. So again, please, regardless of the plan that you have and your satisfaction with it, make sure that you review it during the AEP, the annual enrollment period from October 15th to December 7th. You can, of course, work directly through Medicare.gov, you can call an agent, which is a representative of the carrier, or you can work with a broker who is your representative and a liaison between the insurance carrier and you. 
Now, if you want to learn more about the hospital and health systems that have been dropping Medicare Advantage plans, as I mentioned earlier in the video, make sure to check out this video below. And of course, make sure to check out our All About Medicare playlist to learn more about Medicare Advantage, Medigap, and Medicare in general. In the meantime, if you have questions, you can reach us in the comments below or at the number on the screen. As always, we hope that you like and subscribe to stay up to date. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.